Jay, it's good to talk to you. Are there particular segments that you think are going to hit, get hit worse than others in this holiday shopping season? Well, hi, contestant. Thanks for having me on the show. Really, the entire apparel and footwear industry is probably going to be negatively impacted by the impact that inflation is having on consumers and some of the other issues that are going to make Christmas, uh, this, the Christmas holiday season you know, a difficult one for retailers and brands. And, and when you're looking at those apparel retailers, are there specific ret uh, retailers that, you know, if, if they cater to a budget-minded crowd that will get hit worse than, say, luxury brands? Yeah, well, you're making a good point because we've been seeing that all year. Retailers that cater to lower income consumers, whether it's uh, off price retailers or department stores or especially retailers, maybe that cater to the teen market. You know, these retailers have really struggled this year. And a lot of the reasons that those retailers have struggled are going to continue to be in, in play as we go through the rest of this year and through the holiday season. Hey, it's Brian Jay. Did they botch their inventory? Did they over or they couldn't get anything forever? Then a window yeah. opened up, and all I hear about is people over-ordering, and now they're going to have to discount. Yeah, you know, Brian, that's an important point. One of the other reasons that this is going to be a difficult holiday season for the apparel and footwear industry is because there's way too much inventory out there. You know, one, it, one reason that that's happening is because, you know, supply chains have been very congested. Everybody's been talking about West Coast pork congestion for the last 12 to 18 months. And so retailers had to order inventory much earlier than normal. So when they ordered inventory for this holiday season, it was really about a year ago when before people really realized the impact that inflation was going to have on the consumer. So they placed bets thinking that the consumer would be very strong. We'd have a Christmas season just as good as last year. Now, since that's not the case, there's not a whole lot retailers can do other than try to discount the inventory that they've got. That means gross margin pressure. If they think that the American consumer can't be relied on this holiday shopping season, do you think that they're going to restrain their advertising and marketing spend? Well, I think the answer to that is yes. I think one consequence of inflation is that we're not only seeing pressure on product costs, but they're also seeing pressure on operating costs. And what that means is the cost of operating stores, the cost of fulfilling online orders, all that is rising. And when costs are rising in an environment where sales are dropping, they have to find other areas to cut costs in order to maintain at least earnings close to what they promised Wall Street. So I think what you'll see is, you know, areas that can be cut like marketing and, and other advertising expenses will be cut.